Hello, Brian I'm Man here. Going to do a little tribute video that I found yesterday. One of my favorite wrestlers passed away, and I figured I'll do it during this video. I'll do another because uh, earlier this month Dusty Rhodes passed away, and I found out yesterday Wright Piper passed away. Both of these guys were my favorite wrestlers. Cause I remember one time I actually found a VHS tape. It had like three matches with Dusty Rhodes in it. He faced, um, I think, oh, with Big Boss Man and, um, Akeem, I think, or otherwise known as, uh, Adonis. I remember. I remember watching those. I like it. And I picked this up when he when it came out because I went and watched it. Cause I only saw those couple matches, and I saw a couple matches like when he faced Ted DiBiase, and I remember watching him. You know when he went to WCW and faced Jeff Jarrett and um, Ric Flair and they kissed my butt match or ass, whatever you want to call it. Match my watching that. He bring out a uh, white donkey and it says Dusty's ass on it. And him, him and his son Dust, uh, Dustin made both um, Nature Boy and Jeff Jarrett kiss it. There's a bunch of diff. I like watching all these different matches. And I'm for the most part I know a bunch about Ray Piper because I remember him facing like the Mountie. And he, one time he actually had like a vest on, it says shock proof on it, and uh, he beat him. And I remember when I got the, uh, we, bought, we got a bunch of um, uh, the Royal Rumble from 1992 and the WrestleMania, and the Royal Rumble, he had a chance to become the Intercontinental and the Heavyweight Champion, but he only won the Intercontinental title by beating the Mountain E. Then at WrestleMania, he faced Bret to have my hand Hart. He had like the chance to hit Bret Hart with the uh, bell during WrestleMania, but he didn't do it. Then he ended up losing to Bret Hart, and they shook hands at the end of the match. Then I remember he went over to WCW and faced like Hulk Hogan. Then also Dusty Rhodes went over to um, WCW and became the uh, become a member of the NWO and stuff like that. I remember, remember watching that stuff. And, uh, I remember, I seen, like, the first episode of the, um, what was it called, the Legend House, and, just, you know, during that episode, you can tell something, Piper left, and he's, like, walking around outside the building afterwards, so, I don't know if it's just, if it was part of his character or if something's really wrong with him. Then my dad told me this morning he passed away yesterday. So I figured I'd distribute the tribute to him and um, you know Dusty Rose because I watch. I remember watching these guys when I was younger. And now I'm watching the you know like John Cena and all these other get different Daniel Bryan and all these other different guys and just. I've seen Piper and um, well, the Alien Opponent, and they live. And I did not, I have not watched um, well, the Hell Comes to Frog Town. There's a couple other movies I have not watched with Riley Piper in it. Good in that one. I know he's been in other movies, and I don't, and there's a bunch of different matches I. Probably could see Dusty Rhodes be in. I know on this DVD said they had like a Survivor Series match up. I remember he, he was on Raw one time. Um, was it? They had the best of WCW Nitro or something, and um, Triple H was talking about the Shockmaster. I remember watching that. Then. The Piper's Pit and during WrestleMania, and you know Piper doing the Piper's Pit with Stone Cold Steve Austin when they slapped each other. 
which is then cardio interfere and they whoop his butt. Because you know I have a bunch of favorite wrestlers that you know that passed away, like Crispin. Well, sadly, Crispin Wall is one of my favorites, but you know what he did and Eddie Guerrero. And there's, I know there's probably a bunch more, but I have. Owen Hart, you know, he, British Bulldog. There's a bunch of different wrestlers I like that passed away. I wish they would, you know, keep on wrestling or doing something during the uh, wrestling career. Ultimate War, he passed away. One of my favorites. So. You know, it's, it's sad when they pass away, because, you, you know, because, you know, um, well, probably, he's only, like, it said he was 61 years old, I was like, wow, he could, you know, he could at least live, into, you know, to his 80s, you know, 90s years old before he passed away, but he passed away 61, which really sucks, because, you know, I remember, you know, before that, before this DVD, I don't know about Piper's Pit, you know. There's some Piper's Pits on this set, DVD. I remember the, f the famous one where he broke the coconut over Jimmy Tsuki's head. And, you know, the one of rest of my AO Stone Cold. All these different Piper Pits. So that's what I have to say about the, you know, Ryan Piper and... Destiny Road. I have a couple more videos I have to do after this, so thank you all for watching. Thank you, you know, thank you, because, you know, it's really sad when people pass away, because I remember, you know, the Ultimate War passed away, and the, um, you know, Destiny Road, he passed away, and then, um, Ryan Piper, and there's Eddie Guerrero, and all these other different guys who passed away, you know, actors that I used to watch, you know, and um, all these other different people I I watched when I was a kid, you know, because I remember watching Piper and Dusty when I was like at least ten or twelve years old. So thank you, you all again for watching. I know my next couple of videos will not be, you know, one will be a puzzle, one will be a review, so I just want to get this video out of the way, so thank you all for watching. Bye.